coming at you with the fifth fifth fight of the Lunar New Year event 2024. We have Stoutland. It sets Sand to start the fight. It has Sand Rush. It's going to be quick to start. I was I I panicked for a second. I thought that I started with Metagross and not my Sableye, my trusty Sableye. Setting screens for the team. Uh, can't again. Can't say enough about setting screens. I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, we were setting sun. Okay, we like this. Great. So weather control. <laughs> Great to start the fight. Not super necessary if you're in a coordinated team. Probably good. Could be good. Um, some one thing to consider would be really good for your team would be uh, setting rain instead if your team's bringing metagrosses. If you're coordinating that way, um, you could bring a Pelipper set rain and mitigate. There's quite a bit of fire damage that you have to watch out for. Um, Lucario. As an add, you'll have to watch out. Does have Aura Sphere, can hit a cross. Uh, it's one of those moves that can target anywhere on the field. Um, just something to consider. So we're going to do the typical just set Wisp set uh, screens and hopefully take... I'd rather faint out rather than um, wasting switch. So I'm just going to keep getting as much value as I can until uh, I am either forced to switch or they, they do it for me. So um, Wisp... Wisp, I'm going to prioritize on the boss. Hopefully we don't miss our Wisp. I've had good luck so far tonight, despite making multiple attempts on this boss in solo queue. I will attest this is probably a painful solo queue boss, mostly because Statland just does so much damage. We can talk about the move set a little bit. I love the Reuniclus from this guy too. Reuniclus is a great Pokemon. Move set, Giga Impact is going to be doing most of the damage. Reuniclus, unfortunately, is going to... Uh, be taking a lot of damage. What did he do to start? I would definitely, if you are running Reuniclus, go double dance, meaning uh, double boost. You see, he just, he's just using damage moves, I guess. Uh, that's unfortunate. Um, you, you're going to want to get your um, your defense set up ASAP. So I have the burn up. I'm going to set light screen, and then I can also thunderwave the Lucario to have its damage effectively. Um, Zapdos is coming out. That'll be interesting. Um, so at least if I get the light screen up, uh, we do have a Aura Sphere from Lucario. Um, Minitra can use Flamethrower. There's, there's, there's some special, so it's not a totally lost turn. Though I'm not drawing the crunch that I, that I really want. I just want to get crunched out of this fight. Big impact straight to Zapdos. Bulky Zapdos, it looks like, based on the build. And there's that the R sphere going across the field, um, kind of defying the, the mechanics of the fight. Um, I'm going to hit the Thunder Wave on Lucario, confirmed, definitely not missing. Um, I wish that I could show the team summary while we're waiting, so I'm not baiting the team, but I can pull that up really quick. Um, one major change that I have made to the Metagross, you can see before just part of the, the regular learn set was scary face um useless as far as i'm aware <laughs> in in um the pv format right now but reflect is super cheap i believe it's a red envelope drop or a lucky red envelope drop one of the two uh you can pick it up for about 600 poke yen um i know that i mentioned you could potentially go home claws you could go home claws over the meteor mash instead um so rather than relying on the meteor mash to get you know procs you could just immediately boost up maybe swap out the hammer arm for an earthquake uh, maybe just continue. Hammer Arm is definitely better for this fight, but uh, we did get the T-Wave off. It's big. I'm looking at probably a direct swap in a Metagross here. Um, we will have a while of that Light Clay Reflect up, which is big, but um, there's the paral their Paralysis coming in big. We still have the Burn Up on Stoutland. That's big. Um, yeah, Metagross, especially in the solo queue format where you know, if I'm coordinating with four, four team members, we're all bringing screen setters because if, you know, it's just kind of a, a roll of the dice as to who who brought something that gets focused and then if you get swapped out and you can bring your screen setter back in um that's great uh and, and reset screens when need be uh but if you're solo queuing you can't rely on anyone to set screens you're just gonna have to keep screens up yourself so uh, i really like the reflect on the bulky attacker there's a lot of stuff that you can do where you can sneak really helpful moves onto attackers things like screech would be big there's a lot of pokemon you just kind of have to read the pokedex see what you can bring um get creative with what you have um i think that's kind of half the fun of this is figuring out what's good uh but you try to think about what 
benefits the team the most instead of it's really difficult. I think this fight in particular is going to be really difficult in terms of trying to solo carry it just because Giga Impact does so much damage. Um, we already lost the burn. Um, and so you're going to start seeing Pokemon just get taken out turn after turn. Um, we might eat actually a couple fire fangs here. We'll see what happens. But um, yeah, our other Metagross is not bulking up. We have another Reuniclus from. All right. You know, he's, he swapped out. It's probably the same one. So. Um, yeah, typical Metagross fashion, we're going to Iron Defense up. Uh, I'm going to go to plus six just because the Fire Fang is very scary coming from the Stoutland. Um, I don't think we've seen... Have we seen the Leer yet? There's a Leer that happens, I think it's 66%. We'll see if anyone does any... Oh, that's unfortunate. All right, we have the iron defense. There you go, buddy. Let's go. Okay, so that's big. I carried our fight on on my main with a Reuniclus. With that still, <laughs> my Reuniclus still has an XP share on it. So that's a testament to how good Reuniclus can be, uh, especially because it's EV trained. My Metagross still isn't EV trained. I'm kind of throwing. Um, <laughs> you can uh, also they're not. You can see I'm not level capped either. Uh, <laughs> definitely throwing for the team, throwing for content. Uh, we're going to iron, keep iron defensing. Um, yeah, if you if definitely take the time, if you've, if you've got it available to you, Metagross is good enough that you don't need to. You get a team full of four. But if you're solo queuing and you want to maximize your own chances, uh, definitely just go ahead and and EV train yourself up for Metagross. I'd probably go. You could you could get weird with it and go like you could EV train specially defensive and attack. And then because you, because you're just going to cover the, the special defensive side of things in case you get like the the odd mini trick on the other side, or you could just go straight HP and attack. You could go attack and defense. I wouldn't overthink it too much, but if you just go ahead and EV train it, I'll probably end up going. Oh, did I go impish? Did I even get no, it's not yet. So I, I didn't even get I just bought something with decent IVs basically. Uh, there, there are probably no good natures available. It's usually a lot more expensive to get a natured Metagross. Um, if you were breeding, though, just get a super cheap Beldum and a, like a decent Ditto with plus 20 stats for like 5k. Uh, breed those, and then you've got probably a Metagross that's super, super valuable. If you're looking to make money right now doing that and leveling them up, probably really, really good money. Um, especially if you're a new player, you don't have access to like a lot of resources. You can read those two really easily dittos and and, and beldums um you can rebreed them over and over again with like just buy super super cheap dittos right now and breed them a couple breed like one or two dittos with it and then carry nature on the last one something like that uh be like a 35k breed for you know what ends up being like potentially like a 200k metagross um but yeah i don't i don't do all that much breeding anyway so don't take my word for it so we are at that was plus six Our Reuniclus friend should be at plus five now. There are the defense drops from the, the Leer happened. It must have been at 66%. So uh, I, I can't tell if it's 75% or 66%, but it uh, did happen. You get the defense drop. Clear body Metagross stops that. Um, somewhat useful there. Wouldn't really make all that much of a difference. Reflect is worn off. Here we go. We get to, well, uh, Reuniclus might have Reflect too. I'm going to wait for him to see what he does. Um... This is my Reunica set. Honestly, you could probably drop, if you run leftovers on yours, which would be much better, you could drop the recover. Uh, don't run XP share. Uh, okay, he's calm minding. So we will run reflect. So this guy, I don't, he, uh, I, I don't know if my strings are delayed or they're, they don't show weather, but if that guy's setting sun, he's actually trolling us. Right now we don't have, okay, we have sand now anyway, which is just funny. Um, I don't know if you necessarily want to set sand in the fight, uh, unless you're bringing like a sand team. Um, you're just making the boss faster. Ultimately, it doesn't make that much of a difference. We get reflect up again. Um, whether, I, I believe I've already said it, I'll just say it again. You want to go with rain if you're going, like a lot of people use Metagross at this point. It's kind of the meta Pokemon for this whole event. Um, we don't like that we're getting Aura Sphere now. That's bad, but what are you going to do? Uh, Reflect backup is big. It is time to mash, though. I think we'll just get the chip on the boss. I, 
Um, I'm okay with leaving this Lucario alive, especially with a Thunder Wave, only getting, you know, one and two Aura Spheres off. Um, if you consider other MMOs where you have ads, like in a poll, you call it typically, if you're familiar with the lingo, you can CC them. So keeping a, a, a Thunder Waved ad alive, especially if it's not all that threatening to begin with, is definitely better than get cycling into something that can do a lot more damage to you. Benetric is one to watch out for, definitely. If you're running Metagross, that has Flamethrower. Um, I don't think the Statlands hurt a little bit. I think they have Wild Charge and Crunch, that similar sets, probably. No more light screen actually is bad now, because that Aura Sphere is going to do double that damage. Let's see. Uh, you know what? I don't. I'm. Mm. I think is steel on steel. Half steel is yeah. Steel on steel is half. Fighting's neutral. I'll probably just hammer this Lucario. This could be bad, but I. Like I, I, I thought it wasn't gonna be that threatening. I forgot that I light screen off and getting chip for thirty percent every time effectively like 15 percent a turn if i'm getting targeted is a little bit scary i'll roll the dice and hope that we get a physically attacking ad on this side hyper beam tyranitar interesting interesting okay not without that that wasn't in my bingo card for the day um and all honestly this guy with reuniclus is just going to carry us He's just about to store power for 10% at a time, so it doesn't really matter all that much what I do. Uh, that's big. So some, all, all it really takes is, like, you just need a, a second person. If, if you could duo queue, this, this would definitely be easier, but all it takes is one competent person on your solo queue team, uh, and then that, that usually can kind of save you for the whole fight. You have Metagross coming out on this side, which is big. Um, we got the hammer arm off. Killed, got rid of the Lacario, and we'll go back to mashing the boss. I don't think... Yeah, I just got the one speed drop. And that's it for our Tyranitar using Hyper Beam. Uh, and there's the Fire Fangs. They hurt, as you can see. Let's pray for an attack boost. Nope. Stored power, 10%. Boom. So if you really want to breed a second Pokemon, and you've got your Metagross, I really can't recommend <laughs> Reuniclus enough. Uh, that's 10% right there. I could have brought mine out and been doing the same thing, but I wanted to show the Metagross strategy, uh, cause you probably already have it, um, kind of a broken record at this point, but yeah, throw a reflect on your, your Metagross. If you still have this exact move set, um, you can kind of do the same thing with the Reuniclus. Um, you can, um, uh, I believe it gets screens. We'll double check here. Yeah, it, it, it learns them. So you can probably breed a reuniclus and level it up. Mine, I think I just used a ditto to rebreed it. Um, I punted speed and I just went for like 20 plus ish in stats, got 25 plus in all these. Basically like semi comp if you don't consider speed. I don't I don't know what speed tiers reuniclus is really working with in, in PvP, but I could I could probably give it a run in the on the old OUQ. And I get flinched. Great. Um uh, yeah, but we this fight's in the bag. I don't <laughs> I'm pretty sure we can go go back and look in the video, but this this was the same person, right, that used Psywave to start. That was really disheartening. Uh, it may have been another Reuniclus, and they switched into this one, but... Um, just thank him for the carry here, saving our skin. Uh, I don't get this. It's, it's probably not worth going for the attack boost anymore and just kind of... Maybe we can win on this next turn. We'll see. Uh, Hammer Arm should finish. Should, should finish the boss off, um, but Reuniclus is definitely one that I re would recommend moving forward. Uh, that's a great, great Pokemon to breed uh, so far in this tier. It's been really good, though. So, um, for future events and other things, you they're probably going to see what we're doing here and work against the meta a bit. So I can't necessarily say that when raids get fully released, these Pokemon are going to be good, but um, odds are they'll probably get used again somewhere so would recommend you can also use it as a skill swap magic guard pokemon uh if you're catching things that you don't want to faint like if you're going for finos uh just trying to catch a swana and it 
is brave birding away, trying to just faint itself. Um, that's a good PV use case. You can get super creative. Uh, I'm just excited now to to breed a bunch of things and kind of see how it goes. Uh, Kofa Grigus, I, I've talked about on these videos before, another decent one. Uh, Wisp, it's got the calm mind side of things, but all super defensive, or especially defensive rather. Um, and then my Rock Smash Pokemon here, because I'm on an alt and I don't... Honestly, if I was on my main... Well, on my main, I just don't have to go to Unova, but this is a single region alt, so that's why we're over here. <laughs> Getting rambly towards the end here, for sure. But um, yeah, you can kind of see how this fight goes. Uh, it's obviously much, much, much more difficult for the solo cures. Uh, I think a lot of people are going to be saying this one's super easy, another another super easy fight. Um, it is. Want to say hi to YouTube? <laughs> this is surreal to get recognized for making YouTube videos. Uh, I'm. I'm just a guy playing Pokemon and people are, are thanking me and shit for these things. Uh, yeah, so everybody say hi to Victor Blues in the comments. Um, but yeah, like that was a perfect use case as to how Reuniclus was uh, was super, super clutch. If it was you, Victor Blues, that I was talking shit about with that side wave earlier, I don't know why you did it, but um, yeah, thank you. Pleasure's all mine, man. Um, yeah, definitely put leftovers on yours or something better. Uh, you can throw a reflect on it, throw a reflect on your metagrosses, everyone. You're going to be doing your team a great service. And yeah, good luck out there. If you're stuck, um, just get another metagross, get another Uniclist, keep queuing. You'll get it eventually. Um, you'll get put with people that can uh, pull the fight off. So good luck out there. If you have any questions, any tips for the fight that I may have missed, please let me know. Otherwise, good luck and have a good one.